first of all, no one works in isolation. We don't work in vacuums. It's important to have many different types of mentors. We have really broad definitions of what mentorship is. It might be particular mentors in your uh, cultural or faith-based communities. It might be um, a close friend. It might be your spouse or partner. It might be a parent. There's your research mentor, and they're there to guide your project, help you in your scientific growth. From a technical standpoint, from a, you know, a writing standpoint, from a professional standpoint. Some of your mentors can just be peers. I have many, many mentors who have played different roles in my career. It may be that you have uh, an area that you're really excited about, but you don't know how to take it to the next level. Mentorship can help you to see beyond your own experiences to, to think about um, sort of next step challenges. Sometimes mentorship provides me a new piece of information. They'll tell you, you know, you're not looking at this problem right. You're not writing this manuscript right, you're really focused on the wrong question fundamentally, and they'll help me figure out, I like to call it the killer experiment, the experiment that will take you to the next experiment, or it will kill your hypothesis, and then you have to come up with a new one. And sometimes mentors provide like that kind of ground shifting uh, dynamic. You're going to fail in science. You're going to fail in research. And that's just part of the game because you're really operating at the edge of what we know. On a test, you can get 90% right, and that's an A. On a protocol, you get 90% right, that's, it doesn't work. <laughs> and this is where mentors who can provide that psychosocial support can be really important for helping you get through that really tough spot in your journey so that you can um, experience the fruits of your labor. I remember you know, one day uh, doing, starting on this protocol and, and having one of these sort of, you know, epic failures, I really had a lot of self-doubt. Uh, and so I, I wrote a letter uh, to, to my uh, postdoc advisor saying, I don't think I can, I can stay in science. And then the next day I came in and he said, okay, let's start on the protocol again. He knew that the, the best way of bringing me back on track was to get the experiment to work. People that had consistent faith in me and could see my development over the long, long run was very, very important um, for keeping me in science. There's lots of data that show that mentorship has a big influence on the diversity of who's engaging in research, who's staying in research, who's enriching and bringing new perspectives to science. Mentors provide almost a cheerleading squad where they'll say, no, your sense of imposter syndrome, your sense that you don't belong here is not true. You belong here and I know because I'm part of this team. Uh, and as a scientist, I, I say that you belong. When I joined a lab in undergrad, the mentoring experience there was really great because it was hands-on with the faculty mentor. He really saw something in me that, you know, I wasn't even aware of. He would always reiterate, oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's a good way that you're thinking about this research question. Um, and be able to like support my curiosity and support uh, my growth as a scientist. I had a lot of imposter syndrome of like, do I belong here? Is science right for me? Um, finding a mentor that you know is able to see see those potentially see those insecurities and find ways to build my confidence really help carry me through um, the rest of my scientific career. Having a mentor will help guide you in figuring out like what do you know, what do you not know, what are the possibilities.
understanding the way in which the culture of science progresses and encourages certain people and discourages certain people from uh, succeeding in science. There's a lot of unwritten rules. By the time a student's been doing research for a couple of years, uh, their needs from a mentor are a little bit different. They're about, well, what do I do with this knowledge I've gained? Do I want to go on in school? What would that mean? What does a career in science look like? So what do you need to navigate change? You might need support. You just might need someone to listen. You might need skill building. The mentor can help you figure out how to build those skills. Uh, you might need to make a plan through change. And mentors should be focused on asking questions to develop a plan. I have had mentors at every stage that have supported me, taught me, been cheerleaders, helped me through tough times. We all rely on lots of other people um, around in our lives. It is so refreshing to realize that you don't have to do it alone, that there is an entire team of people behind you rooting for you, cheering for you, and thinking about the problems just like you are.